was very important for us to come to Damascus because we feel very close to you as Caritas Germany. We are a partner of Caritas Syria. We are doing our best to support the activities of, of, of Caritas in Syria. And our visit is a sign of solidarity with your country, with the people you are, you are serving. And of course, we want to inform also our public, our donors, our friends about your work you are doing here. Yeah, I must say, uh, it is uh, different uh, in German television or in reports in Germany. You read or you see a lot of uh, fighting going on in Damascus, of course, in the suburbs of Damascus. And uh, what was surprising is that in other parts, like here, uh, where we are, life is quite normal. Uh, but in one way or another, for us, normal on the surfa surface. We experience, for example, today some explosions, maybe three, four kilom kilometers away. And I think we both, we are the only ones recognizing and turning the heads what's going on. And the rest of the people, they were just continuing their life. And this is, for us as Germans, quite strange. Actually, while doing the visits, I was watching the faces of people who met Oliver and Christopher. Our employees who were very happy to show the work they are doing, although all their own fatigue. The beneficiaries' faces who were telling them their sad stories and feeling uh, a little bit relieved because of two foreigners uh, who were listening to them carefully and caring for them. We've got a very good overview about the activities of, of Caritas Syria. We visited three distribution centers of Caritas Damascus. We visited the medical center of, of Caritas, offering services, consultancies for people with health problems. And we finally visited, of course, the office of National Caritas Syria and the office of uh, Caritas Damascus. We found there very active, mostly young people, yeah, working with a real Caritas spirit and uh, I remembered uh, the slogan of, of Caritas Jordan. Caritas Jordan is, has the slogan Caritas is not a job, it's a mission and I think this slogan is also, could also be uh, a motive and a good conclusion of the work of, 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 Caritas, of Caritas Syria. And we saw of course the, 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 the huge need for help and assistance. Yeah. Lots of people coming to the centers asking for help, asking for vouchers, asking for medical uh, services. So there is a need for that and my impression is that there will be even more services needed in the future. I, I can add maybe that we have uh, visited also some beneficiaries uh, uh, in their homes living under quite difficult circumstances, uh, very crowded in, in small apartments. Now it's uh, cold uh, in their apartments, it's really cold. Uh, I, I was freezing uh, already after 10 minutes uh, visit in, in these uh, apartments. They are humid, uh, so very difficult uh, living conditions. And, uh, of course, uh, the people are struggling to get uh, food, to get uh, medical service, uh, to earn some money, no work. Uh, they have to struggle to send children to school. Uh, so, uh, we have really seen that uh, the work of Caritas, uh, the help which is given is really needed. and. Uh, I got the impression that much more help uh, is needed in the future. What I liked really very much is uh, 
the, uh, your caseworkers from, from Caritas, uh, from this uh, reception center, distribution center, who was, really was a very warm heart visiting these people and uh, trying to help and uh, giving them hope for, for the future. I was really impressed by the, the courage of, of the people we met in, in the last days. I, I learned that also the staff members of Caritas who will assist the beneficiaries are affected themselves. Everybody is affected here. There, there's nobody outside this, this conflict and all these problems. And uh, it would be easy to get desperate and to skip all activities. And I'm, I've, I'm full of respect for, for, for all the people we met, the beneficiaries, but also the, the, the staff members of Caritas Syria who develop their activities, who started new activities, and who try to yeah, continue with their life and to do their, their best to have some hope and to find a new future. Um, yeah, I have been traveling several times here in the region. I have met the Syrian refugees mainly in Lebanon, in Jordan and in Iraq. Um, but now I have seen also uh, internally displaced people here in, uh, in Damascus. And we have talked also to other people who are not displaced, but they have no, no future. Um, yeah, you can, you can feel it, I and mean, many people after five years of war, they don't see any future anymore uh, here in Syria, so I can understand that people want to leave Syria to have a better life, better life for their children, especially to meet so many people who had a good life before the war. They had good jobs, good income, they had houses uh, and everything good health, health system, education system, and all this is gone. And uh, there's no perspective that this will change in, in several months or maybe this year. So I can quite well understand people who say, okay, let's try a, a new life in another country. And of course, I don't know if Germany is uh, the solution, solution for everybody here in, in Syria, I doubt it. But um, at least we have to, to welcome them, if it is for a certain time, or uh, even to give them an, a new chance for their life. But uh, in the long run, I think we have to find ways all together uh, to bring peace back to Syria, and that you, together maybe with our help, can reconstruct uh, your, your be beautiful country. This trip is my first time in, in, in Syria and I was really overwhelmed by the warm welcome of, of, of Caritas and all the people we met. At the moment there are only very few foreigners here in, 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 in the city and people looked at us some of them may be surprised, uh, asking themselves what will they do, these, these foreigners walking here around. But they, they were very friendly to us and um, many of them were smiling. And um, I will go back to Germany uh, with a very good feeling yeah, with regard to Syria and I'm sure that I will return. Uh, as you know, I'm the responsible head of department within Caritas Germany for the Middle East. I will tell my colleagues uh, about what we have seen here. We will give information also to the Caritas network, uh, who are interested to support Caritas Syria, and who are really looking for uh, first-hand information here from, from your work and from your country and uh, we will try also to give information for example to the Catholic dioceses in, in Germany and um, 
yeah, to, to get more support from us, from Caritas Germany, for the work of Caritas Syria. And of course, it is also important to, yeah, to tell the German public that uh, the people here in Syria are suffering and they still need uh, our help uh, so that uh, they can survive this difficult period. Uh, this visit gave us hope, actually. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, the Syrians uh, feel themselves isolated now from the whole world. Uh, so this visit um, made us feel that we're not isolated. Uh, someone uh, still wants to come over, visit us, uh, console us, uh, show us solidarity. Even the people in the streets, they were happy and smiling to them all the time as they stop seeing foreigners in their city anymore. I would say after three years of hard work of Caritas Syria during the crisis, the visit of one of our partners such as Caritas Germany, it's a very important to evaluate our work and to give us a kind of encouragement to continue in the same level uh, of work. Also to live and feel the challenges that we are facing on a daily basis so they can have better image and they can uh, help to understand uh, our uh, situation. We can say we are very uh, proud of the, about the visit of our partners uh, from Germany. Uh, really it was a successful uh, visit because uh, they came uh, to, to Damascus to, to visit us, to, to meet uh, uh, Caritas uh, working in the different centers, in the national uh, office uh, and uh, different regions of uh, Damascus. And uh, uh, when uh, they were leaving this morning uh, to go back, uh, I, I heard uh, them uh, uh, telling us uh, the, their pleasure about uh, this uh, visit. Really, we, we have to say thank you for our partners in Germany and we invite uh, all, all the others uh, to come again and, and to see uh, the quality of the work of Caritas uh, in Syria the quality generally of our society and our beneficiaries and our way of implementing our program. Uh, so really this visit was very important to all of us. I would say that all our partners are most welcome and will do our best to facilitate their visit to Syria. Thank you. Thank, thank you again to, to Caritas and to everybody uh, uh, trying to, to reach the peace in Syria.